Good morning, my name is Floyd and I've been asked to share a thought for today. What do you enjoy doing? Well, amongst many things, I enjoy watching football and I've enjoyed watching the Euro 2020 football competition and I particularly enjoy watching the physical strength, uh, the speed and the incredible skill that the players have. And I find it jaw dropping sometimes when I see a player that is able to control a ball that's coming to him from up high and he's able to control it with his chest or with his leg. Um, and sometimes often they just uh, are able to just stop it dead. Um, I also enjoy watching music and listening to music. And again, uh, I just find it jaw dropping sometimes when I see the incredible things that um, a musician's able to do. And I know that in those two cases, with the football and with the music, that uh, these individuals are putting, have put in and are putting in a lot of time into practice. And it's true to say that uh, the more that they put in, in terms of practice and rehearsal, the more they get out and the better they are. And that's the principle I was thinking about the other day when I was talking to my six-year-old grandson and he did something that was very, very messy. And I said, well, look, Reuben, whatever you do, have a small, uh, just do it to the best of your ability. Do it neatly. And I want to encourage you to think about that and to try and apply that principle. Whatever you do, washing up, putting stuff in a dishwasher, setting the table, uh, if you're at school, when you're writing, write as best as you can. Do everything to the best of your ability because the more you put in, the more you get out. And that's a principle, interestingly, that uh, the Bible talks about in Luke 6, 38. It says, give and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And so many times over the years, Christians have said to me that you cannot outgive God, that they found that as they've given financially, they've got more back. And, and it's the same with time. The more you, you put in, the more time you give, the, the more you get out. And in particular, I'd, I'd like to encourage you that if you are feeling di that, that these times are difficult, and that you are down perhaps at some, sometimes because of the COVID restrictions, then I'd encourage you to pick the phone up and to ring somebody and to give time to them and encourage them. And then what you find is that as you give to them, you'll get back in, as the Bible says, for the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So I just hope and pray that you have a good day and let's pray. Father, thank you that you're a God who gave you gave your son jesus you gave your very best to us and thank you that you are our creator and that you know what's best for us and you know the importance of the uh, the way in which we are benefited by giving and i pray that you will help us to think about these things today and in any task that we do pray that you will help us to do our very best because we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.